I think the most important theme that we covered in the last two days was the importance of the participants to be able to tell their company's story, their business story, and to be able to tailor that story to various people in the market infrastructure, not only to the customer, the consumer, the client, but also to other market influencers. And that's the, the, the key message that we have today uh, for the Mind the Bridge participants. And uh, the other important point that uh, we, we learned from the participants is their need to be able to not be afraid to ask for money in their presentations. They are here to learn how to present to investors and so the, the key objective here is to be uh, obvious about asking for money and how you're gonna spend that money to develop and grow your company. It's always difficult to find investors for money, but if your story is strong, if your story is compelling and engaging, and if your business is engaging, there will always be money to chase good ideas and good innovations. And that's part of the, the message that we have here today. Despite the economic challenges of the world today, there is still investors out there who are looking for good investments. And that's the challenge is to find and bring good investments together with good ideas. Because Mind the Bridge had the foresight to understand how important these legal documents are. And so Alberto Anetti, the chair of Mind the Bridge, and Leonardo Camachotti of topics.org asked me to participate to explain these things. There's a misunderstanding that economic and business issues are separate from legal issues in the venture capital world or in any corporate matters. The legal contracts will define and determine the rights and obligations of each of the parties. So when it comes to such important documents as the term sheet or the LOI, which is the letter of intent, you need to have an understanding by the entrepreneurs of the basic terms and the basic purposes of those documents. The entrepreneur needs to know the basic terms, not the precise language over which lawyers fight. The second reason is really very simple, and that is that you don't want your lawyer to control all of that. You want to know what the lawyer is telling you, and you want to be able to tell the lawyer what you want in each of those essential terms, whether it is a term sheet, a stock purchase agreement, a letter of intent, or another contract. Sì, c'è stato un cambiamento enorme tra l'ambiente che si trovava l'ecosistema negli anni 90 e quello che c'è adesso. Eh, io trovo che ora sia molto più semplice creare una startup. Ci sono piattaforme di cloud computing che permettono di creare infrastrutture potentissime con poche decine di dollari. Ci sono software open source che prima non c'era. C'è una grandissima circolazione di informazioni. Si riesce a parlare con le persone, a trovarle online, farsi dare dei consigli. Tutto questo ha facilitato in modo enorme la creazione di, di nuove startup. Prima ci volevano decine di decine di migliaia, centinaia di migliaia di euro, adesso si può arrivare con una beta di un prodotto anche con 10, 20, 50 mila euro e in pochi mesi. This summer I had the opportunity to work with uh, Dave McClure. I was selected as his uh, shadow for two weeks. So I went in, in Mountain View at 500 startups and I, I met with all the team there, all the startups. I sat on the, on the weekly staff meetings and I had the chance to uh, understand how um, all the startups are engineered and what are the things that are really important in the early stages of a company, what metrics to track, uh, how to, to build a sustainable business, basically. So it, it was a, a really great opportunity and I hope to be able to transmit some of this back today here. <laughs>